So I'm Professor Gavin Davis from the Physics Department here at Imperial College London and I work on the CMS experiment as, and also the DESER experiment, both of which look for the, for the Higgs boson. To put the Higgs boson uh, in context one needs to think a little bit about what particle physics is and what we're trying to do. So particle physics is the one that's trying to study the fundamental building blocks of nature and the fundamental forces between them, so build up everything we see around us from the most fundamental and it's not just about particle physics but fundamental science itself. So we have a, a theory that's proven tremendously successful, the so-called standard model of, of particle physics or of fundamental physics. It's been tremendously successful over the last 30 years which is frustrating. There's one piece that's been missing until today and that's a key part the so-called Higgs mechanism or Higgs boson which is responsible for giving mass. So a very basic thing, why you or I, why do we have mass? So understanding that has been what's missing to this point. We have a theory, the, the Higgs mechanism or Higgs Kibble mechanism, there were about uh, five theorists who really, who really drove it, one of which was uh, from Imperial College London. The, the manifestation, if you like, of that, of that uh, theory is this new particle called the Higgs boson. So if you find it, you prove the theory. If you don't find it, you rule out the theory. So you answer the question nevertheless. So today, what we're saying is that we have discovered a particle which is very close, if not exactly, that uh, standard model Higgs boson. Uh, and in that sense, we've completed the missing part of the standard model, a key part that gives mass to everything we see. Any scientific discovery, uh, there's a chance that the background process can fluctuate to, uh, to give you something uh, like the signal. I mean, let's take uh, flipping, flipping a coin. I can flip a coin, 50% of the time I should get head, 50% I should get tail. If I, there's a chance I might manage to get eight heads or something. It's very unlikely, but it might happen. It's not a new physics effect, it's just chance. So we want to be sure that the, what we're seeing is real and is not just a fluctuation in the background. So we wait until we get something at the so-called five sigma level, which is equivalent, if you like, to flipping that coin 20 times and getting the same answer each time. So extremely unlikely. So now we're prepared to say, yes, this is real. We're seeing something. Whether it's really the, the standard model Higgs, everything we see today with the limited amount of data we've taken so far indicates that's the case. However, there's much more to come. What does the discovery now mean? It means we've found a missing part of the standard model, the key missing part. It's a real confirmation of the standard model of fundamental physics. What comes next is let's study it in detail, let's look at its properties, things like its spin and, uh, and so on, and see if it really is the standard model or it's telling us about the next step because we know the standard model isn't the answer to everything. There has to be a bigger, simpler theory that brings in gravity, a grand unified theory as people say. And studying the properties of the Higgs can tell us about the next step, the bigger picture. So that's really what we want to go after next. Its properties, detailed understanding of it. But we, as I say, shouldn't uh, underestimate the fact it's taken 40 years to get to this stage. It's just a tremendous day for many, many people. So uh, there are a lot of very happy scientists out there.